Hey guys, uh, Michael Levine, and today I got a package in from a company called Public Rec. I have it right here. I haven't even opened it up yet. Um, I believe it's a shirt that we paid about $72 for it with shipping, so it's fairly expensive. Um, shipping and tax and everything thrown in. Anyways, uh, we're going to get down to it, see what it looks like. Hopefully it's wonderful, uh, because at that price, realistically, it should be. Um, otherwise, I just can't imagine spending that much on a shirt. At least not on a t-shirt, if I remember that's what this is. So anyways, let's see what we got here. Um, so, it is a logo on the back. It's not a zip block. It's just a... a one of these sticky uh, resealable bags but it does have the company's name on it at least I don't know if you can see that there so I do think that that's important um, when a company does that this is so it's a Henley is what it is I didn't remember quite correctly let's see here uh, the go-to Henley and uh, Heather charcoal and um, hmm, that's all the information here on the shipping document Let's open it up slide it out of its package Ooh, has a really nice hand to it stretchy so um, let's see what we got here the go-to Henley a classic style made with technical fabric that's built to last 69% um, Pima cotton 23% Tencel and 8% Spandex. So you got quite a bit of uh, Spandex in there at 8%. 23% Tencel and uh, Tencel is a really an underrated fiber uh, because it's made cleanly, which is basically it's similar to like a rayon. Um, it's made from uh, sustainable materials like beechwood trees. Um, bamboo things like that uh, can make tencel um, that they tend to grow fast they don't use a lot of water things like that and tencel as opposed to being uh, as opposed to rayon itself um, they recapture all their chemicals so the the f facilities that produce the actual um, tencel pellets not the fiber um, but the tencel pellets um, don't pollute so and uh, <clears throat> they're like I said they're recapturing all their chemicals and reutilizing them so uh, it's really a great fiber um, it has all great properties to it like soft hand feel um, silky so anyways uh, we'll get into the overhead cam look at some construction here and um, try it on try it out We'll wash test it and then we'll sum things up so stick around I'm excited about this one it's a nice one all right so like I said in the introduction it is a Henley so basically a Henley is a polo shirt uh, without the collar so um, has the benefit of being able to open it uh, leave the neck open which uh, something that I really appreciate because I always feel like this part of the shirt is too high up on me and sometimes the if a shirt is a little tight even across the chest somewhat you can open up the top button and it kind of relaxes it a little and get a better fit um, collars on polo shirts are notoriously always a problem right because they don't wash well they the corner curls up you know just depending if it's a cell fabric or a rib collar so it kind of eliminates that you have the raglan sleeve with the top stitch um, <clears throat> and uh, the very logo piping going across the neckline overall very nice just two buttons not a third um, which you know polo shirts typically have three buttons or four let's see here uh, size large 21 and a half so 43 inch chest and I'll just be writing this down as we go Let's see the sweep, which is across the bottom here. 20 and 3 quarters. That's 41 and a half. Um, 
Let's see, center back length. Twenty-eight, and I think that's enough measurements. Um, single uh, piece back, so you have the same cover stitch going over all the seam, side seam, as well. Um, the bottom hem is just a fold over two needles cover stitch. Very nice clean looking shirt. You have this reflective logo here in the back left side, which is the public rec uh, trademark. And um, that's about it. So we'll wash it, we'll try it on, wear it around, and um, some things up. So we'll stick around. Should be a good one. Okay, so here we are out of the dryer, and for the most part, I would say the Appearance is nice. You let this hang for a little bit and all this is going to drop out. Um, so 8% uh, spandex in there. It's going to keep the fabric feeling or looking very smooth. And you're not going to have to hand iron. Um, <clears throat> we did have a 28 inch center back length before wash. And that seems to maintain itself. Um, and we had I believe 43 inch chest. And right now we're at 43 so zero shrinkage which is a, a really good sign um, I think also because I was a little concerned because 43 inches a little small for the chest measurement in a size large uh, if you consider the bottom measurement uh, would be about 38 um, for small and um, maybe even that would be um, you know so medium would be maybe 42 and the large should be maybe closer to 46 um, but anyways let's try it on see what it looks like on um, up until now it seems to be okay it's maintained a really nice soft hand um, and I just did regular soap and water wash with a, a dryer cloth um, to prevent static electricity so we'll try it on we'll see what it looks like and then uh, some things up so stick around uh, all right, so that was construction on that public rec shirt. Um, label says made in Peru. And uh, it says machine wash cold with light colors, which are very easy washing instructions to follow. So we'll stick with that. Um, fabric has a great hand feel, very stretchy. I would say it's a, it's a good heavyweight t-shirt. It's not lightweight, uh, probably over 160 GSM, maybe closer to 180, maybe even more. Um, so anyways, nice fabric. I love the, the content. Uh, so Pima cotton, usually Pima becomes more important with your lighter weight fabrics because it's a light, uh, it's a long fiber. So it allows the cotton to be a finer yarn with maintaining strength those short little fibers would actually start pulling apart when the yarn gets thinner. So that's typically where Pima cotton excels. When you get into the beefier fabrics, it becomes more of like a status symbol. I don't know if you can really feel the difference. Cotton, uh, thick, co uh, heavy cotton fabrics, uh, generally uh, Pima is not going to do a lot for you. Now, Tencel is a really terrific fiber. Love it. It's um, very similar to um, Model, Model, which is a, basically a beefy rayon or a stronger uh, rayon. Um, and like I said earlier in the, the video, Tencel has some really cool environmental features where it, it, they uh, recapture all their chemicals so they're really not polluting and using from sustainable uh, sources. Anyways, I can make this product in Vietnam, so if there's something that would interest you and uh, that you would like to do in Vietnam, please reach out to me. But anyways, let's try this on and see how it fits. Um, one feature that I didn't call out that I'm going to point out right now is in the shoulder, right along the top there, there's this dart. Um, so this is the rear sleeve seam this is the front sleeve seam on that raglan sleeve and then you have right here down the center a top stitch dart um, doesn't have to be there 
a matter of fact, Pattern Maker would probably take any reason for that dart and kind of move it to those two seams, split it, balance it, and, uh, and not have a dart there. Um, but it is an interesting feature because it shows that there is an understanding for um, fit and uh, form and, and uh, as well as style. So anyways, I like the, the idea that they did it um, and it makes it a unique feature. So you're not just buying a Henley that you could get for $5 at Old Navy. You're getting a, a, a something a little bit more special than that. But anyways, let's see what it looks like on because really if it doesn't fit well, then who cares? And uh, some things up, so stick around. All right, so this is what the shirt looks like on and uh, actually very happy with it. Um, it feels good. I think it looks nice. Um, overall high mark. Something that I failed to point out to you when uh, we we're looking at the garment flat on the table and uh, it's kind of hidden in that uh, perspective because it's right on a fold line. But here you have a little dart going on the shoulder seam. I don't know if we can pick that up uh, right, right here. So you have this dart uh, that's top stitched down besides the front and back seam, uh, which that's fairly unique. I've not seen that construction before, and so I really like that. Um, just because uh, uh, when a company does something that gives you that little um, plus one type of thing, I, for whatever it does, if it enhances the fit or maybe it doesn't, uh, it's unique to them and it shows that they have their own concept of what design should be and what it can be that they're not just merely going out there and mimicking the, the rest of the market so you're getting something unique for your money um, something that's identifiable back to the company so anyways high marks for this uh, for public Rex uh, Henley short sleeve shirt um, if uh, remember if you would like to make something like this and you want to manufacture in Vietnam reach out to me Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Subscribe and like and, um, as, um, and comment if, if you can. It helps me uh, gain more viewers and I appreciate any help I can get. Anyways, until next time, continue to dress smart.